when Sarah and I were screaming about Trump threatening to turn us into a police state, really tightening the screws on our democracy, it was black people who took us seriously at first. It was black people that elevated our voices because communities of color, they're the ones that understood the realities of a police state firsthand. And they were the ones that took us seriously. And it was white people in the media that snickered at us and discredited us and slandered us. Like Sarah and I would not be sounding this frustrated today if our newsrooms across America, and this includes foreign policy desks, uh, you know, for, uh, think tanks, and anybody who is a voice of information and a window to what's going on in the world and what's going on, on the ground across our country, if those jobs were filled with people of color, we would have greater sensitivity to the tremors of, of a police state. They, they would see it coming before it would get this bad. And so I think Part of the solution to Trump-proof and Putin-proof our democracy moving forward has to be the diversity of newsrooms and think tanks and anybody covering any issue anywhere. We need to expand the perspective of, of how we receive information in this country. Right now, it's predominantly white and predominantly male, and white males and white women, too, are in a luxurious position where they can more easily withstand actual authoritarianism when it does take hold, whereas it's going to be the historically marginalized communities, the communities of color that are the first impacted. And we've seen that, of course, with COVID-19, with the massive amount of deaths and um, trauma with communities of color during this pandemic.